<laughs> All right, that is a perfect segue into our next guest. Um, Mark Milskosia, would you come up? He, Milskosia, he'll, he'll pronounce it correctly. I, we are, we had two weeks to put this together, so if I mispronounce a name, forgive me in advance. Um, Mark is an executive director of Family Policy Institute of Washington State. And this man, he was, this is an interesting history, I thought this was fantastic. He was a, um, a, a former Democratic state representative for 14 years, but then he was a Republican yes. state representative for four years, no longer serving in office, and he's also a former B-52 pilot of the U.S. Air Force and, and graduated from the U.S. Air Force Academy. We've got several soldiers um, that are going to be talking to you today, or a few more anyway. Married to Michelle for 40 years, three and two days. I'm 17 years today. It's my anniversary and we're spending it here with you. <laughs> Thank you. Three, uh, three grown children and eight grandchildren. He's going to be talking with us today because guess what? Last night they filed another lawsuit and it's officially filed on behalf of religious freedom. Thank you. Thank you all for coming out here today. We need your help. Your community needs your help. Now is the time to act, and to act for your faith, for your freedom, for your children before it's too late. We live in troubling times today. We have leadership here in our state that is dysfunctional and working against the people, working against the churches, harming our children in our communities. And we must stand up and fight this. The Family Policy Institute of Washington is a statewide Christian public policy organization working with pastors and churches and communities and fight against the injustice that we see growing here in Washington State. Unfortunately, it's being led by our governor, our governor, Governor Inslee. And, yes. And I'm here to talk about two of the events two projects that are working out, what you know of, but you need to be involved and you need to, to join in. So go to fpiw.org and sign up on our email list to see what's going on as we help change this state. But the two issues that were going on involve this religious war that we're involved in. For 2,000 years, Christian, we had a Christian, Judeo-Christian society. Our Western civilization guided us. People prayed. Our churches and communities thrived, but not anymore. Now these radical secularist pagans have taken over here, especially here in Washington State, and they're going after our churches, our pastors, and our children. Let me talk about two things going on. First is Referendum 90. For those of you who don't understand, there's an initiative. Go sign up right here and, and get a petition. We need to overturn this radical sex ed bill that the legislature passed last session. This goal is to sex, this bill will sexualize all children in public high in public schools. It is being led by the radical pagans, by Planned Parenthood by the radical LGBTQ groups. Man. Their whole purpose is, is to turn children against faith and their parents. Yeah. You need to be involved. You need to take a petition, sign up. Yes. Get on social media, get your friends to sign up. Right now, we're still behind. We need to, in the next week and a half, we need to collect more signatures. Now is the time to act. Please get a petition and please sign up and let's reverse and take back the public schools from the radical pagans, from the people trying to harm our children. The second issue we're involved in, and you need to be involved, is the illegal shutdown going on all across the state by Governor Inslee. 
He's not just illegally shutting down businesses. He's shutting down churches purely against the First Amendment. This is the same religious war we see going on with the sex ed program. They're going after our churches on purpose. So what has happened? The Alliance Defending Freedom has found a church in Spokane and we're now we're suing Governor Isley. We're suing our Attorney General Bob Ferguson. And we need your help to be involved. Let me and open up our churches. Let me read from the lawsuit. This action challenges Governor Inslee's proclamation prohibiting churches from holding in-person worship exceeding 50 people or 25% capacity when it's ever is less. I don't think so. Now, Christ Church of Mount Spokane in Spokane County has been unable to hold an in-person worship due to the governor's actions. So now they're suing. You need to pray for this church and pray for all those that are the churches that are now practicing civil disobedience and challenging the governor. The Alliance Defending Freedom is a law firm that is defending this church, Christ Church. Governor Inslee has described spiritual gathering as COVID-19 super spreader events. Oh! Governor Inslee is no friend of churches. Amen. Governor Inslee has described as essential, not churches, cannabis retailers, brewery and winemaking facilities, coffee production, company cafeteria, finance offices, on and on. Casinos are allowed to open but not churches in our state. It is time to fight back. Open them up. Governor Inslee is trying to shut down faith in Washington State. He is so bad. He is so bad. He's even worse than California. That's how bad Governor Inslee is. Yes, sir. And that's pretty bad, folks. Let me tell you. And if you're going, to see, you're going to see how bad Governor Inslee is, he's been handling this emergency right now, the COVID emergency now, for three months. The homeless emergency in our state, go see Seattle, four years. We have jungles of homelessness. Today <coughs> and yesterday, now we're seeing riots in Seattle. That's how the governor handles emergencies. Not very effective in my mind. But now with this emergency, he's using it to shut down churches. So we need to fight back. So that's how you can act. Join the Family Policy Institute. Sign up on your email. Join the campaign to take back our public schools. Pray for Governor Inslee that God gives him wisdom. We all have to pray for that. We need a lot of praying for Governor Inslee to get any sort of wisdom and be involved. Be involved. We can't let our whole state look like Seattle full of drugs, death, and corruption. We have to take back our state. It's only all churches and all people joining together, praying to God for help, and taking back our state. Just, and work for justice, just like the Reverend Martin Luther King worked for justice 60 years ago. Can we do that, folks? We can. Thank you. God bless. God bless America.